Hi everybody, for this video I will talk about the audio source and the audio reverb zone. Uh, I'll let you know what both of these do, so let's get started. So the audio source, um, it's pretty much just like a speaker uh, that you could put your audio clip in. So any audio clip, I'm going to use one uh, that I got from the asset store, some random one, I'm not sure. Uh, the actual asset that I got it from was um, absolutely free music. It's free in the asset store uh, as of, you know, December 15. So I'm going to use that one. Uh, there's output. Now for output, um, output, you could create uh, your own audio mixer group. And then uh, I'll show you that. I'll show you what that is in a later video. But pretty much you would right click in your projects uh, tab. Go to create and hit audio mixer. And with that created, you know, you would name it. And uh, if you double click it, you would get this. And you could, you know, uh, put multiple uh, audio clips and mix them together. And uh, do different kind of things with it. Like I said, I could show you in a later video what all that does. Uh, but for now, we're going to stick to the audio so source and audio source reverb. So for that, what we're going to do is like uh, when you make that audio source or audio mixer group, you just would uh, open this little uh, audio mixer by clicking this arrow and dragging in the master. And there you go. Uh, but for this example, we don't need any. And then uh, after that, uh, oh, and also you don't have to have any. Just so you know, after that, you could click if you want it to be mute. Now, all of this you could change in code, just so you know, uh, or script. And then uh, you could mute it. You could bypass the effects of uh, pitch, all of these effects. Uh, you could bypass the audio listener effects. You could bypass uh, reverb zones. And when I say bypass, that just means you could ignore them so you won't hear any of these effects, none of the listener effects, reverb zones, none of that. Now for play on awake, if you have this check marked on, it means it will play as soon as uh, your game starts. So uh, you can have this off and then later on when uh, you want to play the sound, you just, you know, by code, it you would just turn it on. Loop. So if you have a five second uh, clip or even three, four minutes, it will go through the whole sound, uh, song and then, you know, just start over and, you know, keep doing it over and over. Priority, if you have this set to a low number, it means it's a high priority. So this audio source will play over any other audio source. So uh, you could have multiple audio source playing with ones uh, with higher priority than others. So you would be able to hear them more than others. And then there's volume, you could uh, change the volume. Pitch, pitch is just uh, the speed of the, 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 the audio. So if you wanted to play faster or slower. There's stereo pan, so if you wanted to play on the left side of the speaker or on the right side of the speaker, or zero for the middle. Spatial blend, so spatial blend, if you have it to 3D, you'll be able to pretty much, like it says, it's a 3D, so if you have a, a game object, let's say 100 miles away, you won't be able to, t to hear it. But as soon as you get close enough to like, let's say 10 miles away, you'll start to hear that audio. And we'll leave that to one for now so I could show you an example. And then there's reverb zone mix. Now this right here, it says it sets how much of the signal the audio so source is mixing into the global reverb. So uh, into the reverb uh, uh, zone. And then uh, Doppler level, this spe specifies how much the pitch is changed based on uh, your distance. Spread, it spreads the 3D sound more into the speakers. Uh, volume roll off, if you, right now it's set to lo logarithmic roll off, but you could change it to linear. If you change it, you could see this diagram change. So, um, and then you could also custom and then you could also have it at log, uh, logarithmic and also still customize it. You could click it on, click on any line twice and add a, a little key, keynote or dot. And then, uh, after that we have, um, we got a uh, minimum distance and we got a uh, maximum distance. So the minimum distance would be, um, it says right here, it's the minimum distance, the volume will stay at the loudest possible. So 
uh, minimum distance would be the loudest and then maximum distance would be uh, where you can't hear it. So if you see down here on uh, maximum distance 500, you won't be able to hear it already. At one, you could hear it. So uh, that's the distance from, um, from the game object. So what I'm gonna do real quick to demonstrate this is I'm gonna add real quick um, a mesh renderer and then I'm gonna add a material, well not a material, I want a mesh renderer and a mesh filter, I think it's. And I'm gonna open the meshes and I'm gonna add just a simple cube. And now I'm gonna add a material. Material could be really anything or this red material so we can see it. Now we're gonna zero it out and we're gonna check real quick where it's at. Now we should be a little closer to the scene. Let me see here so you guys could see my struggle. All right, so. Now there's a cube right there. We're gonna scale it a bit on the X and flatten it a little bit, make it a little smaller, kind of like a little stereo or something, just in the middle of nowhere. And uh, now from this little stereo, we're gonna hear the audio. Now this minimum distance and maximum distance, if, if I make this scene a little bigger, you could see this big old globe. So if I shrink the maximum distance, uh, this is where you, will stop hearing it so let's say i could only hear it from um, from this distance so not even where my player's at and then the minimum distance is where you will be able to hear it the loudest so we could put it somewhere right here now when well, we'll put loop and when we hit play so i changed the settings over here to 0 0.05 21.74 it wasn't working so the way this works right here, the listener, this is um, this is pretty much if we go to uh, first person controller, character camera, we go to the camera, this audio listener, this is what uh, is showing right here. So the listener from the main volume, the volume one, the full volume, uh, this is the distance from it. So if I hit play, I hit play and then I start walking around in the scene right now you can't hear no music well you could you could barely hear the music right now you can't hear any because if you see on this uh graph right here you can't see the audio listener but as soon as you start seeing the audio listener and you start getting closer and closer the music starts getting uh louder and louder so as you see it starts getting louder and louder for some reason i can't get directly to uh, to the main source of the volume but uh when you adjust it the way you want you'll end up getting um you'll end up getting this audio listener bar all the way to the end and you'll be able to hear it at um full volume full volume now the last thing i wanted to show you real quick is audio source the the audio reverb now the audio reverb, I'm gonna close this audio source real quick just so we could hear it. Audio reverb is, uh, the reverb zone is just, um, it's like, a, okay, it's a zone where when you enter the zone, uh, you will hear whatever certain preset they have for you, or you could even use uh, your own. So if you click user, you could change it to have it to be your own kind of uh, preset. And then uh, after that, you could have minimum distance and maximum distance. And uh, minimum distance is just this um, inner circle. Maximum distance would be the outer circle. The maximum distance um, is pretty much where the, the sound will start. The minimum distance will be where it, it sounds the loudest. Um, so let's say we put a uh, cave and we hit play and we actually enter that reverb zone, you will be able to hear the, the actual, almost like an echo of the reverb zone. See, if you could hear right there, you could hear like a cave echo. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what the, the reverb zone is. You know what? We have enough time. So um, what I'm going to do to complete this uh, list of 3D objects. Uh, well, not just the list of 3D objects. Let me uh, rephrase that. 
So I've been making videos for a little bit. And uh, the reason I got into video uh, making videos is so uh, I could show you guys how to make games. Um, I would love to see, you know, newer people get into uh, making games, creating fun and interesting games. So I started making videos and I started teaching people from the beginning how to inst how to install Unity. I showed them uh, what all these little uh, things do, like cut, copy, duplicate, all that. Showed them, uh, I ended up finally showing how to do all these, what all these 3D objects do from the cubes to the ragdolls to wind zones, 3D text. Uh, I have that all in my channel if you wanna check them out. I also uh, mentioned uh, 2D, 2D objects. Uh, I have that also in uh, my video of how to install Unity all these uh, 2D objects, what they do. Uh, I also mentioned effects, particle system, the particle system force field, trail, and the line renderer. I mentioned all those in uh, videos, and I also went over the lights, mentioned all these lights. Uh, I went over now. In this video, I mentioned the audio source and the audio reverb zone. I have mentioned before what the camera, this camera button does. Of course, it just adds a camera. And now um, I'm gonna mention this video player as well since we got time. And uh, for the UI, the UI, I will mention this in a separate video to finally complete this hierarchy. So uh, let's get started with the, the video uh, player. When you click on video player, it adds this uh, video player component. All you gotta do is uh, you could choose between video clip or URL. Now I've tried a couple different URLs. I was not able to figure it out. So uh, yeah, you could probably check the documentation a little more uh, and probably figure it out yourself. But if you go to video clip, you could add uh, a video clip. Uh, I will add one right now. Let me add one of my, uh, let me add the first video I ever made, uh, first tutorial video I ever made for Unity. So I got this, uh, will it work? It will not work. It has to be uh, MP4. I think that's that one was MKV. So I'm gonna go to my other ones. So I'll just put my, eh, it don't really matter. I'll just put this one, the light tutorial. In this one I show how to use lights, uh, 3D lights. Uh, in another video, I will show you how to use 2D lights when you import uh, the Unity render pipeline. But yeah, that's for a future video. So with the clip uh, now downloaded, uh, there's if you click on it you have these options later on I'll I'll show you what all these do and how can, how you could uh, uh, choose all these options to better uh, optimize uh, your game and uh, spend less uh, memory so you won't use a lot of memory so now we'll go on the video player we'll go to the clip and we'll put the clip in and now we have the clip in now that's not all that you have to do. First of all, you could play on awake, so this will play as soon as it starts. If this is true right here, you could wait. It will wait for the first frame, so it won't play until the first frame. And then this one right here, you could loop the video, so uh, as soon as it's done, it's as soon as it's done, it'll loop. If you put skip on drop, this will skip frames to catch up to the video. Uh, you could play back speed, so this is uh, how much speed uh, the video will be. For the playback mode now this is where you'll need to really focus on because this is where uh, you'll render your actual video so let's say I make um, a 3d cube I have this cube uh, hopefully someone can see it copy this component that way I could just position it where the text is real quick hopefully Get it down. get it closer all right so there's our cube now with this cube what I could do is if I hit the video player so right here it's asking for a texture, but if you don't have a texture, you could also do material override and that would allow you to put uh, any a renderer, a mesh renderer or anything like that. And now you have uh, this material property and you could change to whatever material property you want it to be. So if you want it to be on the metallic gloss map, it will be on that. If you want it to be on the occlusion map, it could be on that. I'm gonna set it on to be on the main texture. And then uh, I'm just gonna scale up this cube a little more so we could see it, like if it's a little theater or something. And then yeah, and then once we hit, it, let me delete this. Once we hit play, it should play on the cube. Hi everybody, today.
today. And as you can see, it's talking about uh, lighting. As you can see, it was playing on the cube. It was a little loud, uh, but it was playing. And as you can see, it was uh, flipped upside down. If you um, flip this upside down, uh, let me see, or if you rotate it, or if you grab, if I grab the right one and then I rotate it on the Z, I think it's 180. Hi everybody. Today we'll, we're going to be talking about uh, lighting uh, specifically. Everything. And now you, as you could see, you were able to see it perfectly. And now you could also, let me show you the little other options. You could change it from uh, API only. So this would be uh, by script or code. And then there's render texture. So if you create uh, a texture, you could create a texture and have that. Um, so there's render texture right here. You could create a render texture. You know, you could set it up. And then once you set it up, you just set it to the render texture and then it'll be rendering it. You could also have it to camera near plane. So if we, uh, where's the camera? We have the camera right here and now it's to near plane. So when the camera gets near, or Hi everybody. Today we'll so it's like, talking about, uh, as lighting. you can see, it's on the camera. And if you go to camera far plane, it's pretty much going to be the same thing. Just, uh, Hi everybody. far Today away. We'll so, We're as you can see, about, uh, lighting, uh, specifically everything here. but yeah, that's how that works. And then you could also change, um, let me put it back to the, oh, when it's on the camera, you could also change the alpha. You could make it fit her horizontally inside, outside, stretch it, no scaling at all. You can have the audio output to be direct or through an audio source. And you could also do it through scripting, but this is experimental. They're still working on it as of uh, this version, 2020.1.3. So maybe in a new version, they already have fixed this little um, experimentation. Then you, you can have the track to be set. If this is enabled, uh, this is for the track. Only effective when not playing. When playing from UR, track details are shown only when playing back. You can mute it and you could set the volume. So that is it. Now I am officially done this time. Uh, thank you for watching. If you guys uh, stuck through this whole tutorial. In the next video, as I said, I have done pretty much all of this. Uh, light, I haven't done 2D lights, but that will be more in the future. Uh, but I've done everything else. All I need is UI and that will be in the next video. So I'll probably break it up to two, maybe three videos. Uh, but thank you once again. And if you like this video, please hit that like and subscribe, subscribe button. I would really appreciate it so much. And thank you once again.